How do? Bobby Cardassian. It's not a joke, this. This is a real person. Um, at this time, 21 years old, transgender, male to female prisoner, currently housed in Limerick Prison. Limerick Prison apparently holds female and male prisoners. There is uh, mixed prisons in this country. Uh, never, the, never the two shall meet or see each other. So yeah, it's not just about transgender this, it's about... Well, let, let me first tell you about this individual. Come on. Come on, you. Stevie, you all right? Oh right. yeah. Let me tell you about this individual. Uh, horrendous childhood. I don't know her name as a child. Uh, Barbie Cardassian is a chosen name by Deed Pole. Originally born in the Midlands. So as a young man growing up, this person witnessed I use the name loosely, Dad, but witness, witnessed Dad beating and raping Mum. Um, as he got a bit older, he was invited to join in, in the beating and raping. So like I say, now 21 years old, Barbie Cardassian in Limerick Prison, in the female part of the prison, Four and a half year sentence for threatening to rape, kill, torture, mum. So the torture part and rape probably already been covered growing up as an individual with some sick father. Um, being described as a very dangerous individual. Ireland is seen has been at the forefront of the transgender movement, if that's what you want to call it. It's not an emotional thing, it's a factual thing now. So Ireland, 2015, some uh, transgender recognition law or whatever, um, you can apply for a certificate to, or if you identify as a female, um, and that's basically it. The transgender population per capita in Ireland is roughly twice that of the UK. So at some point this individual, Barbie Cardassian, applied for a certificate and now identifies and always difficult to talk about this. So she identifies as female uh, she's classed as a female and she's in a female prison. Currently, uh, the police are investigating threats, threats to rape female staff. So Barbie Cardassian as an individual, I've seen the pictures, looks like a bit of a unit. You don't get a scale, but you know, some sort of physicality. Um, she is on an unlock protocol. An unlock protocol means she only comes out on her own and there is a certain number of staff uh, to escort her. That's for her protection and staff's protection. She has a very limited regime. Probably shower, exercise maybe, but not a lot. She is, uh, has no association. She's not association with other prisoners. Uh, incidentally, to put a bit of balance on this, there is Another transgender prisoner, that's male to female, on the same wing, along with two female child killers. The other transgender prisoner causes no problems. That's to sort of, you know, put a bit of balance on this. So for me, you know, the, the whole thing about transgender, I've talked about it before, you know, you need a special unit for me. This is just my take on it, yeah? So it's not an issue, you put all your facilities somewhere, you can get staff to volunteer, you can get all any sort of specialist interventions, doctors, 
consultants, everything that is needed or required, all in one area, and then like-minded people can be put together. And it's both safe for them and other individuals. For me, Barbie Cardassian shouldn't be in prison. In the court process, looking at this individual's, you know, history, growing up, uh, raping as a young man and battering his own mother, the psychological damage must be huge. Um, for me, I'd like to see this individual, this young lady, if you want to say that, in a psych unit somewhere. But there is a, you know, a history of assaults, uh, threats, you know, all sort of violent type crimes. Um, this person needs assessing. They obviously need some help. Um, if they were in this country, they would be in Broadmoor, Ashworth. What's the other one? Why can't I think of it? <laughs> or Rampton are high secure hospitals. I've come across dangerous individuals like this before. Uh, you know, the criminal justice system, we just lock people up. This individual, this young lady needs a proper assessment for me. Um, needs some help. I can't imagine what the child were like. Uh, mental health, like one of my good managers used to say, is no excuse for bad behaviour. However, kids are products or young adults of their childhood. Um, well, watch this one. If you want to Google her name, there's a couple of articles. There is articles relating to the charges, articles relating to the prison, the threats to rape female staff, and things to consider. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone who's been supporting the channel. It's nice to get out with Stephen. He seems all right today, he's been limping. I want to thank everyone who has been on the channel, guests, past, present and future, everyone who supports me on Patreon, everyone who's bought me a brew. Um, first live next Monday. Um, I don't know the format, I will put out some community posts, I'll do some vlogs before them, and we're just going to get into it. I've been talking about it long enough now. Um, yeah, so there you go, Stevie. Stephen, <laughs> obedient as ever. Come here, kid. Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, why are you walking faster? <laughs> Beautiful day, guys. Summer's coming. I hope you're in the best place possible. I'll see you. There.